President Museveni was received at Magamaga Barracks near Jinja by Chief of Defense Forces General David Muhozi and other high-ranking military officers. Museveni then inspected the ongoing works to assemble armored vehicles. The UPDF has been importing these armored vehicles, commonly known as Mamba, from South Africa. However, South African company recently closed the Mamba production line. The UPDF devised means of revamping the old ones and assembling new ones. President Museveni said UPDF has been vulnerable in the peacekeeping mission in Somalia because soldiers move in open old armored vehicles. These people went to Somalia to fight there. They had a new problem now, which was fighting in towns, in buildings. And because the buffer was open on top, the Somali terrorists could stand in buildings and uh, which our people because of the exposed top. He urged Ugandans to be creative and think about new technologies for development. Therefore, since we are getting out of sleep, really the sky is the limit. You are now talking of overhauling and upgrading the T-55 fleet. The president said he had hope the steel mining in Toro district will help boost this car assembling plant. With that steel industry there, if we can add some alloys, this is going to look at the economics of making the armored, armored, armored steel here. As we are in our, the, the, the man from Chami was telling me the armor steel we are buying from Sweden, some of which is against blast, another type is against bullets. We are also exploring possibilities of which competences to share, especially with Luero Industries, and um, to complement each other instead of duplicity, Your Excellency. Last, uh, opportunities in the oil sector are many, it's around the corner, and this could be the nursery bed, one of the nursery beds for the required skilled manpower. The plant is run by a South African company, Impala Services and Logistics.